Leon 7 tonight, the Star Iva community is rallying behind an 11 year old boy who's battling two different types of leukemia. 7 News reporter Asia Wilson tells us how the family is being supported as they move in and out of the hospital. It has been an up and down roller coaster, but God has been with us. The lives of 11 year old Nylee Gear Harrison's family changed on November 5th, 2020. The doctors came in and, uh, and they, um, told me they think it's lymphoma. That's what they was thinking it was. But then they came back right an hour later and I knew something was wrong and they said it was like, <laughs> It was discovered Nye League, also known as Juicy, was inflicted with two types of leukemia after battling weeks of pain and discomfort. Seeing him in the hospital bed, that's something you do not want to see at all because that's my little brother. And I wish I, some days I could take the pain away from them. The news came one year to the date their father passed away. And for three months, the family had traveled to Greenville every week for chemotherapy treatments or hospital stays. Prayers for, it, for him, because to see him like this, I mean, he has lost so much weight. As they continue to fight, the Star Iva community has stood behind them. It tugged at my heart because I know that struggle. And I Sherry Holbrook was also diagnosed with leukemia many years ago. Her senior beta club members at Crescent High School were inspired to raise $2,600 in two weeks, along with two boxes of food and gift cards for the family. It made me feel happy and like people actually like care about me and the stuff I'm going through. Nearly every school in Anderson School District 3 has contributed, raising nearly $95,000 through things like kickball tournaments, t-shirt sales, and other activities. Hi, Leek. Uh, this is Coach Sweeney at Clemson. Clemson's uh, coach, Dabble Sweeney, also showed his support after learning Juicy is one of the team's biggest fans. Just uh, prayers and blessings with you. The support is what really makes us get through it. It really helps Juicy get through it. His family says throughout this entire process, he rarely complained about his pain. And with every bit of strength he has and community support, he continues to fight on. Thank you for all you've done and stuff because I wouldn't be here without you. In Iva, Asia Wilson, 7 News. Nalik's mother says that he completed his last treatment last Thursday, and on Tuesday, doctors will test his bone marrow to see if the leukemia is gone.